Some new information in the shooting death of a Watoma teenager. Investigators say a group of children were playing with several guns when 14-year-old Shane Zweck was shot in the upper torso. The district attorney's office is reviewing the case for possible criminal charges. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has the latest. When Parkside School starts up again next week, students and teachers in Watoma will go back without one of their own. It's tough now because we don't have the kids yet, so I know some of the teachers were pretty upset when they had heard. Shane Zweck, who would have been an eighth grader, was shot and killed Tuesday morning at a Wisconsin Street home in Red Granite. The Bashara County Sheriff's Department says there were several children at the house from 5 to 17 years old when Zweck was shot with a rifle. Investigators say at least three of the children, including Zweck, had been using multiple guns for, quote, horseplay for several days before the shooting. Authorities say the guns and ammunition had not been secured in a locked cabinet or equipped with trigger locks. The district administrator for Watoma Schools says he hopes there can be a lesson learned in this tragedy. The hope the take-home message is when your guns aren't used, make sure they're locked in a secure place. Jeff Koshibuski says school officials have been working with the county's human services department to provide resources for students. We've got counselors on standby, both our counselors as well as our neighboring school districts um, have all offered help. While some questions remain, one thing is certain. The first day of school will come with sadness in Watoma. Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. The boy who is believed to be involved is not being identified because he's a minor. Authorities say no charges have been filed in the shooting, but the investigation is...